I think Maggie and I are going to load up the van and go for a little solo camping experience. So why in the world would Maggie and I go camping today without Lynn? Did she leave me? Well, sort of. <laughs> but she went to spend the day with one of her friends from high school. Maggie and I are sitting here at home. I've edited all the videos and we've got a day to do whatever we want to do. I kind of looked around at all the uh, comments and questions you guys were asking. One big one was, do you miss the revel and how does this echo do on dirt roads? I thought today would be a perfect day for Maggie and I to just go find out. So let's do that. Ready, Mag? So how does it do on dirt roads? Well, I don't have to travel very far at all to tell you because we actually live on a gravel dirt road. And I can remember days when we uh, had the Rebel that, well, we had to uh, put it in four wheel drive just to get up our driveway. Now, with all wheel drive on all the time, well, it's just not an issue anymore to, uh, to be on a dirt road. At least not one that has maybe four to five to six inches of maximum clearance needed. So here we go. First stop on this trip for Maggie and I, the Blue Ridge Parkway. I can almost see our home and see the lake right over there. We live about 15 minutes away from the Blue Ridge Parkway and we feel so lucky that we do. It's one of these places that you can just come to and well, everything you worry about just kind of melts away. So we're gonna take the Blue Ridge Parkway on up a little further up the mountain and then we'll get off and head over to that dirt road I told you about. So here's one of the first places that I wanted to pull off. You've watched this many times in our Rebel 4x4 pull off at places like this on the Blue Ridge Parkway. There's the parkway. We found this little beautiful place to just kind of sit and take it easy. <laughs> I can't keep up with you. <laughs> hey. Hey, sweetheart. So, Everything okay? Everything's fine. Maggie and okay. I are on the parkway. Are you? What you doing on the parkway? Well, I'm going to do the video about how it handles in dirt roads and we're going to go to Bass Lake and let her go for a hike. Maggie has a few places that we would say are her most favorite places in the world. I think we both would agree that Bass Lake here in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, yeah, it's a place that gives her a happy tail like crazy. So now we're going to have to ride around and see if we can find a parking place. I see one there. I can park. I can pull through and come back to that and park. A little bit further off the road. Yeah. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. So, we're at Bass Lake. You want to go for a hike? You do?
further. All right. Get the water drip bottle. Let's go. Come on. Well, no parking space when I came through, but I'm going to turn around and go back through and see if I can find one. There wasn't one for a Volkswagen, let alone an Echo, so let's go see if we can find one. If I can't find one, I'll keep going, and we'll just go eat lunch up on top of the mountain. I know you're gonna get you get some. Now you're getting it. <laughs> Pretty all right. Mm, was it good? <laughs> We're gonna leave Blowing Rock now and head around Boone and head up to Limble Gorge. The closer we get to the forest road, the more nervous I'm getting. I realize there's no cell phone coverage up here. I have nobody with me other than my pup. And if anything goes wrong on this first time taking our Echo on a dirt road, well, I'm gonna to have to walk a long ways. Continue on Olden Street Highway 105 for one mile. I'm just gonna drive like this for a few minutes so you can see out the windshield and kind of see me. Let's see what's going on up here. great things about this van the torque and the pickup and just the pure power that it has it's just phenomenal I love that part of it see and after you get past this little Limble Falls parking area it gets a little rougher but hey it's nothing yet we are having a great time but wish you were here send it yes so here's information about this place I'm gonna head up here and look at this cabin up here. Isn't this awesome? Lynn and I've been here, I don't know, three or four times now. We've never stopped and looked at this cabin. Man, wouldn't you know it? It's closed. sway side to side so far no issues that I've had to deal with there's just such a tremendous amount of power that goes to the wheels that 
it doesn't seem to kind of I don't know it doesn't lag when you give it gas it just goes right as soon as you punch the gas it goes and I guess that could be a bad thing but it seems to be a good thing right now and you know, the roads getting a little worse but since it's dry up here I'm not at all concerned at this point and we'll make a decision about getting off at one of my favorite campsites up here in just a few minutes No issues at all. This campsite looked really different than this the last time we were here. It was covered in snow and we were cooking white chicken chili out on a fire. This is an awesome great big site. Just look around. Here I'll show you. That's what I call a campsite. Remember this morning when I left, I packed something from the refrigerator. And since Lynn's not with me, I need to make dinner. I'm gonna make something that she doesn't like. And you may not like it either. It's something I learned to eat because my grandfather cooked it all the time. And, and I'm gonna do it exactly the way he did it. It's liver mush on the griddle out here don't throw up yet okay it's going to be good i got to go inside and get everything i'm going to need get this thing fired up and we'll get to cooking should be a good evening of watching the sun go down getting to eat sure wish my sweetheart was here what else do i need, I need that I need that got it let's get the food inside Not very level. Yeah, buddy. I only need three pieces for me. I guess I'll do one piece for my dog. Let that cook for a few minutes. Come back and flip it. We'll be ready to eat in a minute. The trick to this is get it really good, crispy. Have you said that Maggie having to lay on the dirt? Well, not anymore. She's got her own bed for camping now. This is just about ready, guys. Gonna move these over to the side. Turn this one down a little. Toast up the bread. You know, I used to be lazy and not toast bread, but man, I just gotta tell you, if you toast your bread, it makes the world a difference in how food tastes when you make a, a quick little sandwich like this. Just don't burn it. It'll be good. Let's plate this up. Let me turn all this off now. The trick to this is yellow mustard. As James Gregory would say, you don't want to use the brown mustard that looks like someone crapped in the yellow mustard. Use the yellow mustard. We'll put it on, on both sides. I just love that sound. Give that a spread around. So liver must there. I'm gonna put one in the middle. I'm gonna tear this one up because as I'm eating, it's cold out here tonight by the way. Little lady's gonna get to eat too. 
she'll like that. Plate that up. Man. Now oh, that's a sandwich right there. I don't care who you are. That's a sandwich. And we only need one more thing to make this right. And just to be totally transparent with you, uh, well, Lynn didn't come with me. And I didn't remember to bring any of the glasses that we'd washed in the dishwasher. So guess what I'm going to do? Mmm. 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 Man. Man. Mmm. Let's sit down and eat. Bon appetit. For those of you who don't know, that's my last name. Appetit. It's going to kill me for drinking out of the jug. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That was a successful meal. You know what? It really makes me think of my grandfather. Um, just, isn't it crazy? Just the little things in life like that, that you can remember your childhood just with the taste of something that most people, unless you're from the South, would think is one of the nastiest things you could possibly eat. But it just makes me think of my grandfather and miss him terribly. And one of the things he told me a long time ago was find something you would do for free, find some nut to pay you to do it, and you'll be a happy man. You know, and YouTube pays us a little bit of money to come out here and make videos for you guys. And you guys, most of you at least, seem to like them. And if you do, make sure you give us a thumbs up, even if you're on a TV or something, you know. And we'd love to hear from you. Have you ever eaten a liver mush sandwich? Does it does that bring back memories for you? Or if not, what do you eat that reminds you of your dad or your mom or your grandparents? We'd love to hear from you and hear what it is that you eat that's really a memory. not a great view right there look at that by the way i don't even have it in any kind of mode other than normal i haven't spun a tire yet but <laughs> i did just lose a bunch of crap i guess i have to pull over up here Dadgummit, I didn't close that cabinet. I really miss my wife when she's not here. Doggone it. Doggone it, doggone it, doggone it. You okay, Maggie? Anything hit you? I don't think there's anything left up there to hit you with. Like I said, it's a bumpy little road. But I got to get out of this curve before I stop. Stop right here. <laughs> Where are the wheelie? 
lose, Maggie? What all did we lose? That's a bunch of crap. How should I do this? I think we're going to get off the mountain. everything back here on the bed put it all back together tomorrow okay get in your seat little lady get in your seat you know what under normal circumstances I would not have captured that on the uh, camera but it did I'm cool Normally, normally we would have everything packed in there. There would be, we'd be trying to fit things in and making every use of every little bit of space. But since I was only coming up here to make my grandfather's liver mush sandwich and to see how this road and this van got along, I didn't pack everything. So I guess that's something, maybe you can figure that out too. You know, if you're not, if we'd been on a trip, that, that would have never happened. Well, because, wait a minute. I still, still didn't close the freaking cabinet. Damn it. I believe I can do that from here. Keep that armrest from sticking me where the sun don't shine. Okay. Oh well, man. I wish you'd go back here and double check everything. No, I don't think you can sit on my lap, baby, while we're rolling down the road. I think you've got to sit over here. Okay. So how did she do? Man, it was awesome. Now, I probably am going to wish I'd spent the night tonight. It's just, I know I'm a wuss, but Lynn and I are never separated. We do everything together. And she needed to go see a friend today. And I needed to see how this was going to work. So it kind of worked out. I'm going to call that a wrap for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Owen. This is Van Trekking Lifestyle. If you haven't already done so and you've watched this far well you're either completely bored you're interested in an echo or you like what we put out either way we hope you'll really consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up if you don't mind leave us a comment and let us know what you travel in and remember what sandwich or what thing do you cook reminds you of your parents or your grandparents until we see you again soon happy tales <laughs>